Dear students, today we will discuss about the diseases of beans. Bean is under the family Leguminosae, cultivated in various geographical regions, belongings of different members such as common bean, lima bean, scarlet bean, tapari bean, field bean or lab lab bean, sword bean and clustered bean etc. Various fungal, bacterial and viral diseases are reported to attack bean crops causing mild to severe losses. The present topic has made an attempt to provide information on etiology, symptomatology, epidemiology and management of some of the important diseases of bean. Now let's see fungal diseases. Anthracnose. The causal organism of the anthracnose is the Polytrotichum linde muthianum. Telemorphic stage is the Glomerula cingulata. Now let's see the symptoms how it looks like. All the above ground plant parts are attacked, but most striking symptoms appear on immature pods. On leaves, the infection may occur both sides, but early sign of infection usually appear on the under surface as blackened dead portions of the veins. Later, such spots also appear on the upper surface. Lesions are also formed on petioles and stems. On pots, black sunken cankers with lighter colored or central gray areas are seen. So this is all about the symptoms. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. The fungus overwinters in infected seeds and in plant debris. It can remain viable in infected seed for several years. The optimum range of temperature for disease development lies between 18 to 27 degrees centigrade and relative humidity above 90 percent. So this is about the epidemiology of the disease. Now let us see how to manage the disease. First one is the cultural practices. Use of healthy seeds, clean cultivation and three year crop rotation has been recommended under the cultural practices. Next is the use of chemicals. Various non-systemic and systemic fungicide like ferbam, ziram, thiram, banomil, carbendazim, captafol are used for management of the disease. Let's see the host resistance. Cultivars VL60, VL63 are tolerant against the disease. Next disease is the angular leaf spot, causal organism of the disease. It is caused by Phaseriopsis griscola. Now let's see the symptoms how it looks like. The disease symptoms appear on all the above ground parts of the plant. On leaves, three to four angled reddish to grey spots without borders appear on upper surface and slightly lighter grey 
on the lower surface, which are consistently delimited by veins. Seed borne infection results in severe infections. Leaves show upward curling and defoliate prematurely. The fungus attacks on the pots, causing superficial, smooth, usually circular spots with reddish brown center and ashy black borders. So, this is about the symptoms. Now, let us see the epidemiology of the disease. The pathogen perpetuates both on plant debris and infected seed. The viability of conidia on plant debris is 6 to 8 months. The fungus is disseminated by water splashes and wind. Optimum temperature for growth and sporulation, spore germination and development of the disease are 21 to 24 degree centigrade, 18 to 24 degree centigrade and 24 degree centigrade respectively. Now, let us see how to manage the disease. First one is the cultural practices. Use of disease free seed, 3 to 4 year crop rotation, destruction of diseased planting materials, deep plowing and wider spacing. This is all about the cultural practices. Next use of chemicals. Seed dressing with carboxin followed by foliar application of carbendazim and venomil. This is all about the use of chemicals. Now let us see the host resistance. Some of the resistant varieties like EC10037, EC10039, PLB, HPR54, HPR299, HPR326, Hans Nagar local are some resistant varieties. Now next disease is the rust. There are several causal organisms according to the different types of the beans. On beans, it is Euromyces phaseoli typica. On cowpea and others, it is Euromyces phaseoli vignae. On dry bean, it is Euromyces appendiculatus. This is a autoceous and macrocyclic rust that is produces all the stages on bean plants. Now let us see the rust symptoms how it looks like. The symptoms mostly appear on leaves. Though often they are found on petiole and stem of some hosts. The rust pustules appear on either sides but more common on lower surface. The iridisuri are minute, roundish, slightly raised and reddish brown colored. Later in the season, with the formation of teleospores, the sori turn dark brown or black. Diseased leaves may wither or fall off under severe infection. This is all about the symptoms of rust. Now let us see the epidemiology of the rust disease. Primary source of inoculums is through teleosports in cooler regions and on collateral hosts. Secondary spread is by windborne iridospores. It attacks on French beans, 
green gram, black gram and cow pea. So, this is all about the epidemiology of the disease. Next, let us see how to manage this disease. Adjust sowing dates to avoid severe infection of plants in the field. Protect the crop with Mancozef or Gineb at the rate 2 kg per hectare or wettable sulfur at the rate of 0.3 percent. So, this is about the fungal diseases. Next, we will learn about the viral diseases. First one is the bean common mosaic poti virus. The causal agent is it is characteristics of flexus filamentous particle measuring 730 to 750 into 12 to 15 nanometer in size. Now let us see the symptoms of the disease. Leaf becomes chlorotic, small in size and stiff. Light and dark green areas are formed on the leaves. The light green color are usually along the margins of the leaves. Abnormal growth of the tissues causes vein to bend downward. The leaves may look cupped. Diseased plants produce fewer pods which are small in size. Downward curling of the leaves and yellow mosaic is common symptom. Next is the mode of spread. Transmission in the field through aphids that are Mygis persicae, Acrosiphum pisum, then Aphis gossipi. Seed transmission is common and most important source of initial infection in the crop. So, let us see how to manage this disease. Select seeds from healthy plants. Control of insect vectors by spraying systemic insecticides like methyl D maton. Snap bean cultivars like robust, corbett, refugee are resistance against this disease. Next important viral disease that is yellow mosaic. Bean yellow mosaic virus moong bean yellow mosaic virus or fasciolus virus 2. This is a single stranded DNA virus. Now let us see the symptoms of the disease. Initially bright yellow patches appear on leaves. Yellow areas alternate with dark green areas in the leaf blade. Younger leaves show more severe mottling and chlorosis. Leaves completely turn yellow and gradually becomes necrotic. Plants are stunted and flower and pot set is reduced. Pot formation is reduced and if produced they are deformed having shriveled and undersized seeds. Now let us see the survival and spread of the disease. Primary source of inoculums is collateral hosts, secondary is by white fly that is Bemisia tabasi. It is not transmitted by sap, seed, and pollen. Host range of the virus are France bean, soybean, red gram, gentium strumerum, and eclipta alba. Now let us see the management of the disease. Remove collateral host and destroy it. 
use resistant varieties, then spray metacy stocks at the rate 0.1% for vector control. Next disease is the bean golden mosaic begomo virus. Causal organism. Bean golden mosaic virus is characterized by isometric particles in pairs that is geminate 18 to 20 nanometer in diameter and 30 nanometer in length angular in profile and contains covalently closed circular single stranded DNA genome. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The disease is not generally found in young plant population unless viruliferous whiteflies are present in high numbers. Symptoms become more conspicuous when the plants have already developed three to four trifoliate leaves. The first symptom may be noticed as rolling downwards of young leaves, which later show the golden mosaic symptoms. Pots may show golden mosaic spots and may be malformed. Stunting growth, pod malformed, discoloration and reduction of seed size are also common features of the disease. Next, let's see the survival and spread of the disease. Bean golden mosaic virus is transmitted by white fly that is Bemisia tabasi and inoculated with sap from young infected leaves but not through seeds. So this is about the survival and spread of the disease. Regarding the management, vector control with insecticides is recommended. So this is all about the virus diseases. Now let's see some of the bacterial diseases of bean. First one is the bacterial brown spot. Causal organism of the disease. It is caused by Pseudomonas syringae pathova syringae. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. Disease can be observed as small few millimeters oval necrotic lesion on leaves. Later on, a narrow yellow green zone may be seen surrounding the lesion. Leaf tissue around the lesion may be puckered. Lesions coalesce and center falls off, giving leaves a tattered appearance. On pots, dark lesions are same as compared to leaves, turn necrotic causing malformed fruits. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. Primary source of infection is by weed host. Seed transmission is very low. It can survive in plant debris for more than one year. Secondary spread of the bacteria is by rain plus or overhead sprinkler irrigation. Now let's see how to manage this disease. Incorporate diseased residue deep into the soil. Plant beans once every three to four years and do not rotate with pin to kidney or dry beans during this period. Control any volunteer beans that may emerge in the field 
in subsequent years. Plant certified disease free seed and use resistant varieties if available. Do not work in a disease field, particularly if it is wet from rain, irrigation, or dew. Thoroughly clean equipments, including harvesters and tools, after use in a disease field and before moving into a new or healthy field. Work in diseased fields least to prevent spreading the disease to healthy fields. Next disease is the common blight. Causal organism is Genthomonas campestris pathova fasciuli. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The first appearance of the disease showed water soaked spots on the leaves. The spots enlarge into initially flaccid but then brown and necrotic lesion with lemon yellow margin. Lesions often coalesce to cause such extensive tissue damage that defoliation occurs. Wilting type of symptom are observed if the pathogen invades the plant vascular system. Symptoms on pod are water soaked spots that enlarge into dark red sunken lesions. Yellow exudates may from on lesions. This is about the symptom. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. This is seed borne disease. Secondary spread occurs by rain splash, insects, farm implements, and human. Disease favors by warm temperature that is 28 degrees centigrade and high humidity. It caused internal and external seed contamination and survive on seed or bean stem for over 15 years. Let us see how to manage the disease. Crop rotation with non-host plants use disease free certified seed, deep plowing to eliminate infected plant debris. Some exotic cultivars like Julius Valley are resistant to common blight. Widely grown commercial cultivars are not resistant to this disease. So this is all about the diseases of bean. Now we are coming to the conclusion of the topic. Bean is the source of proteins consumed as dry seed or vegetables. Attacked by various pathogens causing moderate to severe losses. Among the diseases, anthracnose and angular leaf spot is the one where majority research have been carried out. This information provides etiology, epidemiology, symptoms and probable management practices to combat the losses from it. The combined efforts with pathogen characters survival will give a feature on the ideal management of the diseases.